In this video, I want to go over some of the recent changes to the AIGP body of knowledge or exam outline. It's important that you're familiar with these updates so that if you're taking the exam sometime before or after February 2nd, 2026, you know what to expect. So first off, what is the AIGP? Again, AIGP stands for AI Governance Professional Certification, and this is the industry's gold standard certification for people that are breaking into or already in the field of AI governance. For all of its certifications, IAPP puts out what are called bodies of knowledge. And these are very high level outlines of the content that you can expect to see on the exam. For all of its certifications, IAPP updates these bodies of knowledge on an annual basis. The idea behind the updates is just to make sure that the certificates remain relevant and that they're not stale. For the rest of this video, I want to go over two buckets of changes. These are major changes and minor changes. The important date to remember here is February 2nd, 2026. If you're taking the exam on February 1st or earlier, then you don't have to worry about these changes. You're still going to be taking the exam that's on version 2.0.1 of the exam. However, if you're taking the exam on February 2nd, second or after, it's really important that you're familiar with this content. As far as major changes go, there are really four major changes that you need to watch out for. Number one, there are going to be more laws on version 2.1 of the exam. That's the new version that is effective beginning February 2nd. For example, you're going to need to know about South Korea's basic AI law, and you're also going to need to be familiar with within the United States state level laws, as well as any federal legislation. The second major change is that you need to be familiar with the ISO IEC standard 42005 AI system impact assessments. The third major change is that you understand both AI agents and agentic architecture. The fourth and final major change concerns the number of questions that you can see on some topic areas. And so, as you can imagine, with there being more law-related questions, you can expect to see more questions on different laws and regulations. Now for the minor updates, and these are all very minor. The first minor update is that whereas previous versions of the exam referred to almost exclusively AI models, now you're expected to understand that when we're talking about AI, it's not just specific models, but AI systems. And the final minor change concerns the expansion of various competencies on the body of knowledge. In short, IAPP has included terminology that other versions of the exam were already familiar with. They're just calling out these terms more explicitly on this updated body of knowledge.